<laughs> so guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from a very chilly and cold Chiang Mai city. We got a cold snap. You lot are probably laughing at that in England now because I know it's really cold in England and snowing. <laughs> But yeah, it's cold here. When you're used to 30s, 35, 40s, it's really cold. So I've got the got the long sleeve on, and yeah, I'm in Esso today. An old friend from back home. I know it's pretty noisy. It's rush hour. It's about 7:30 in the morning, guys. I am heading down to Sarapi area again, and I'm going to meet a lady, a Thai lady, a Thai business lady. Yeah, we spoke on YouTube and we had a little chat, and I said I will come down check out check out a business have a coffee in a coffee shop and do a vlog out of it hopefully and meet her maybe ask her some questions and see yeah make a day out of it make a vlog out of it so yeah i'm gonna get on the road because i've got police officers all around me here <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna get nicked in a minute man i'm gonna get nicked ah so i've been on the road about 25 minutes and yeah this is the coldest morning of the year so far in Chiang Mai guys it is it is fresh we got we got a batch of cold weather coming and I thought I'd stop off at this place I just seen these new houses getting built so I'm in a part of Sarapi that I've never been before I think we might be just outside of Sarapi but we're near the Sarapi area and I've seen these little beauties here look these are little diamonds aren't they Little diamond pads, not quite finished yet. See, that'll do me. Lovely, lovely little gaff. So, I just wanted to have a quick look here. Yeah, this is all you would need, isn't it? This is all you would ever need. Small little, little house, couple bedrooms. Yeah, beautiful. I thought it was worth a stop off. I don't know where it's located on the map, but I'll take a good picture of the sign because you never know, someone might be interested. It's a lovely area, look. Quiet area, 20 minutes from Chiang Mai City. Perfect though. Look at the mist, man. It's like pie all over again. <laughs> it's like pie, man. It don't get hot here now the last couple days until 11, 10, 11. So what I'll do, I'll just take a close-up of the sign here. And then it's got the number on it in case anybody does like to look at these places. You never know, do you? Can't read Thai, so I don't know if it says it's probably three, two and one bedroom by the looks of it. Lovely little area. Right guys, so I found it. I found Yard's coffee shop and this is a beautiful part of Sarapi. I think I found another little place that I want to live. <laughs> I could live in this area, man. It's so quiet, small roads, got a nice canal running through the middle as well. And this is Yard's coffee shop. It's called the Nowhere coffee shop cool name right the nowhere art cafe so here she runs a coffee shop and she does a photography studio here as well and there's also a small bungalow that she rents out with her family and there's somebody staying here at the minute the nowhere art cafe so you can get wine here as well and some beer she sells Lao beer really nice beer as well you can sit out here in the evening look nice huh hi. say hi, hi. <laughs> yeah this is your business and this is coffee shop and an art studio right yes. photography studio yeah. and you do both in this room yes I do both in this room this yeah room. And when a coffee shop is set up, like people can sit and have a coffee. And when it's real, I bring all our ends and hang the backdrop and set the light and shooting. Yeah, so it's both. When it's not a coffee shop, she has to move it all out and set up for people coming to do 
pictures and this is what she does it's very good lots of different styles of photography and scenes and yeah it's gonna give us a little walk around yeah, sure. your area here yes. right yes um, you're gonna grow some vegetables and all the organic stuff organic uh, vegetables and fruits and uh, in the back there now uh, we still have to develop and make yeah, the develop. Um, landscape okay and uh, maybe by uh, next few months or next year thing will be changed from here from from what you uh, it would look a lot different yes. than it does now yes and yeah. this this accommodation here you've just finished this you yeah. said not too yeah, long ago yeah. no a few months ago a we finished months. it we are going to start like the farm stay people can come to stay um overnight a week or a month yeah it's depend and enjoy farming and yeah, have the experience cool. farming and maybe if you are a photographer you can come to shoot with us sometime. that's right anybody that's <laughs> into the photos yes. or something like that you can come here and yeah yeah you can share knowledge and maybe <laughs> yes. have some pictures done out yeah. here yeah the, so the this land, is like, your dad works here as well right yeah my dad works here as well he's like being farm uh, farm farming uh we have the long can um uh, long, uh, long into in into the end and we have some little ponds i will ah, small uh, ponds yeah small pond i will turn this pond clean up a bit okay. and put all the lotus and we um i will make the case or over so here will be the play with place right you're gonna so, gate it or put yeah. a fence around mm -hmm. yes so you can yeah sure yeah and um so you said you grew up here right i grew up here in this village so yeah all my life yeah and because i love the nature i love my hometown i love uh the garden yes so uh i don't i'm not really city girl no no <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's good yeah this is a great area love this area this we still have to clean up a little bit not a little bit a lot yeah and to make it clean and the all the garden organic will be like under here where under the shade you can also i might put a helmet around so you can sit around and enjoy Hammock. okay so it'll yeah be very cool and good detail. idea yeah. Yeah. so what shade. what did your dad used to do here this it's always just been wasteland like this nothing yeah right yeah, yeah. and he just come to give the surfacer for the long can and okay. clean up time to time but as we see the leaf all over the place yes because the long can kind of leaf for every day i see so we have I to see. clean it yeah ah. Yeah. And there's more down here. There's a pond down yeah, here. Ponds. Uh, the ponds. We have some fish, but uh, need to develop it also. Yeah. Need to clean it up. Yes. As I said, I want to put the rotas and make it more beautiful. Too much cleaning. Yeah, it wouldn't take a <laughs> wouldn't take a lot to clean up. <laughs> yeah. It's nice that you have it. Yes. On, in your grounds. Mm -hmm. And this one is like uh, local Chiang Mai apple. <laughs> local Chiang Mai um, apple. I think because custard apple something like that custard apple yeah custard apple yeah. Yeah. is there any on there now uh no that is once a year right not now uh, oh yeah you grow guava here as well yes and it's a good guava it just starts growing uh, so guava easy to grow is it it's very easy yeah yeah very very easy i can pick some for you today oh wow yeah, yeah i love a guava uh, it just grow like a few months ago and it's already make fruit I uh, see after three months it's already make fruit huh. really, really quick and yes. really easy to grow and you said you're gonna do more grow more fruit here and yeah, I will, grow I will more put, vegetable yeah I will put all vegetable uh, the cloud will be become green and uh, more fruit and more vegetable here you go uh, ah guava okay this for you love guava yes right yeah guava is good yeah it took me a long time to try a guava i always thought i'm never going to try it but when i did i really liked it you really like it right yeah it's uh and this this high of guava is very sweet the skin the skin doesn't look good because 
I have to cover it. I see. Since a little, but recently we have. So why why do you put that cover on? Because the skin will look better because nothing uh, like the insect, the disease don't come in. Right. Uh, the insect or the disease it came from the fly, right? I see. And so the fly don't like. Yeah. Eat it. And so the bugs the eggs, for the, the bugs. bugs. Yeah. The bugs. See this, really. So they've got two guavas, lovely, yeah, we, lovely we jubbly. Like, <laughs> we have pink guava and this called kimchi. And you said somebody staying here, but they're moving out soon. Yes, they're moving out this end of this month. Right. So from from next month, uh, I will decorate or uh, furnish and make it like farm stay, so people can. Start. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of yeah. people will come out here. So can I ask what what you charge for this? This a I, I will charge like six fifty per day, 650. and a month it's just like six thousand per month. Six thousand a yeah. month, yeah. So it's a good deal, but, guys. Yeah. And you're living right out in the country, really. Twenty minutes from the city, perfect. Mm -hmm. Coffee shop right outside your door. <laughs> you can eat here as well. Yeah, and Yah yeah, will do yeah. breakfast yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. And I just want to show you out on the canal here. There's a bit up the top as well that on the way back I'm going to show you where they're building a dam. And we think they're probably going to build here, right? You said? Yeah, they're going to build right, the private house. Maybe we, we, we yeah. make a bridge there across. Yeah, so the plan is that mm -hmm. they're going to build here and she will make a bridge and you can go over there and sit, right? Yeah. Take your and coffee also over there. I will I will make the seat here, uh, right? Like in every corner. Yeah. So you can chill here, and the water will fill up uh, after the dam finish, and the water will be more clear. Yeah. And see. it's nice atmosphere. Yeah. And on the morning, and evening, you can like make a jogging run this area. Yeah, it's perfect, right? Yeah. The people jogging every day because not much traffic no, no. Um, not many motorbike or uh, the car come around this way. yeah i've been here maybe two hours guys and i think i've seen two two motorbikes or three motorbikes come down this road <laughs> and you have the website.com yes website uh worldwide web budua.com yeah i will leave the link i've not looked at the website so i will have a look later as well yeah <laughs> Oh, so this car's coming in it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's somebody. Oh, Ooh. thought it was somebody staying at the no. bungalow there. No. Okay, <laughs> we'll turn off a minute. Yeah. Open. Two days open. Oh yeah, she still got it <laughs> unclosed. <laughs> the Nowhere Art Cafe. See, this would be a cool place to chill, wouldn't it? So you said it gets gets hot here, and you're gonna put a shade up. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah in maybe tomorrow we we'll put uh, we we'll starting building already. Ah, tomorrow. Like the structure tomorrow we we'll put this core and put the uh, steep. Yeah. The wooden. This would be a great and, uh, place to sit. Yes. And then I will plant the flowers. Probably take a little while. Right. So you're gonna have flowers or up here. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is really a nice area, guys. Okay, they're, they're building a bit down there, but there's new houses and that going up everywhere around Sarapi as well, even though that's the dam. And yeah, there will be houses here, but it's going to be good for business, I think, if you have more houses here, yes. right? Yeah, small business. Yeah, it might be a bit of hassle why they're building, right? <laughs> yes. A bit noisy. Yeah. But after that, yeah. it will be, they're going to come here for coffee, right? It's just been good getting out of the city again. And meeting, meeting ya, lovely lady, <laughs> lovely lady. I'm gonna come out here again for sure, get a coffee and chill out. It's only 20 minutes from my area of town as well. Right, so now I'm gonna eat a guava straight from the tree. You can't get much fresher than that, can you? Mmm. Very nice. You can come anytime for Gawa. Gawa uh, fruit here in our garden. Uh, we just want to uh, 
for the people who come, friends come to visit and pick them and eat them fresh. And Can't organic. get much better than that. Anybody can come <laughs> here, have a guava. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave Ya in peace now and we're going to get on the road again. It's been a great, great time out here this morning looking at this place and the coffee shop. She has a really nice place and she's an even lovelier lady. So it's been a great time. So we're going to leave now so I know Ya's got to go out and I will see you guys in a bit up around the dam and I'll show you around. What a lovely lady, eh? She was giving me coffee and guava, water offered to cook me breakfast <laughs> so yeah it was lovely going there and checking out her business and what a beautiful area guys i've just had to stop at this dam they're building and just look at this yeah just quiet little road hardly no traffic you could come down here and sit i'm really liking this area look this is just perfect, right? So they're still building this dam. Got the workers down there working. Got some houses each side. It'd be a great place to live. Quiet, but you're not too far from town again. And it's just that peace and quiet. So I'm just gonna leave Lucille there and just, just gonna check out what they're doing down here a minute. <laughs> oh my days. Yes, I could see me here, man. I could see me here, all right. We've even got a small gym. Small outside gym. Right, so they're still building the dam down there. So I'm not going to walk down any further. Looks like there's a lot of work going on. There is more and more houses and places going up here, but that's it's obviously going to happen, right? The more the more Chiang Mai grows, the more the outer areas grow, the more Frangs want the houses just outside of town, don't they? And like the place we stopped off on the way here, there's there seems to be more and more construction sites like that when you head out of the city. I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm getting back into the city. I want to stay here. So I hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. And I will see you in the next one. We're gonna be off to another destination. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. Bobby Dazzler, a place. Sarah P.